We have a special, special talent for you guys today. A wonder kid that was boosted in the winter update. He was already good. He is now exceptional. He could play right from the off for most clubs in world football. He is that good and his potential is crazy. In this simulation, we'll show you how we take him from good prospect to one of the best players in world football. He also is fairly cheap. He should be in most of your saves. So let's run the intro and check him out. Hi everyone, Jake here. Welcome to another episode of Wonder Kid to Superstar here on FM Scout, where we take a Wonder Kid, put them to the higher end of their potential range to see how good they may become. As mentioned, this is someone who is already very talented, but now he's been boosted in the winter update to be one of the best Wonder Kids around. He's got bags of talent straight away and can grow to be even better than he already is at the start. You might already know him, you might not, but after this video, I'm sure all of you will be scouting him in every single save that you do. So we'll show you him in a second, but first I'd like to ask you guys if you could smash that like button it will let YouTube know that you've enjoyed it and spread it out to more people and hopefully make the video do well and it also lets us know you're enjoying the content. Comment down below who you'd like to see next and subscribe to the channel for daily football manager videos if you haven't already so you don't miss out on wonder kids like this. So let's go find him. We've headed over to the English second division to the Skybet Championship and to Bristol City and if you already know about this player you might be going oh okay I know who this is now. But stick with us, because in this video, I'll show you just how good he can become after the new winter update. But you can see he's not just a hot prospect at the club. He is already this side's key player. It is none other than 18-year-old, under-18 capped England international Alex Scott. Now, last year, he was a wonder kid in the game, but he was more of a wide player or a right wing back, I would have said. He definitely wasn't natural in FM22 in these three midfield positions. But he now is, and he's now an unreal talent. And he can also still play out wide if you need him to. Again, he was very good on FM23, but in the winter update, after some great performances in real life, he has had his potential range boosted. It's now 150 to 180, so even on the worst side of that potential range, he is going to be a cracking player. And one of the things I love about him straight away is the fact that even with no growth, his mental attributes are incredible, very well-rounded, everything is at a high level. There's nothing you're really lacking in his mental attributes. He's determined, composed, and anticipates the game well, good physical attributes, five foot ten, and technically he's not half bad either. A nice passer of a ball with good first touch, dribbling ability, crossing ability, and finishing ability. Now he is right footed, so if you were going to use him on the wing, which might be the best place to have him, he isn't going to be a player that cuts in really. You'd want him running down the line. But with that being said, in this video, we'll be using him somewhere else. Somewhere where I think we can get the most out of him. Either way, though, his valuation is between 10 and 15 million pounds in this save with his potential at 180. He's got a few years left on that deal from Bristol, but he's certainly worth picking up. And he's already Premier League quality for sure. This guy is so, so good. He became great last year in the Wonder Kid to Superstar we did, but this year it's even better. So this is Alex Scott, but now we're going to move him over to our Real Madrid team and I'll show you what we're going to do to turn him into an elite level talent very, very quickly. So here we go. We've moved Alex over to our Real Madrid side. I use the in-game editor to bring him over for 10 million pounds. As you can see, he's already played a full championship season for Bristol, even though he is still only 18 years of age. He's got some nice player traits as well to go alongside his game. He's ready for some first team football, but how are we going to train him? Well, actually in this tactic, I won't be using him out wide or in that number 10 position where he could definitely do a good job. But I love a Metzala in Football Manager and I think Alex Scott could be a fantastic option. I think he'd do a great job of running forward, going into these wider channels and taking shots into the corner of the net. Doing this, I'm hoping that we'll see the most out of both his scoring game and also his assisting game because he's still very good on the ball in terms of his passing. I feel like if we held him back too much, we wouldn't see enough of his scoring game. So we are going to use him in the center of the midfield. I've got him being mentored by the likes of Modric and Benzema. So hopefully he'll pick something up from those world-class talents. But you can see all I'm going to do is I'm going to train him on that role that he's going to be playing of a Mezala on the attack. No additional focus and we'll see how he gets on. Now, if it was you guys and you wanted to use him in this 
this position. My additional focus would be his finishing ability, but I'll leave it basic so that it's not unfair compared to our other wonder kid to superstars. But I would say if you were going to use him as a Mazala, I'd like to see that finishing a bit higher, but everything else is at a very good level. That composure, decision-making, anticipation is really going to help him in the in-game engine, as well as that work rate, off the ball work. He has got the lot, has Alex Scott. Nothing is lacking in this man's game, but let's see how he can do right from the off. Can he score goals? Can he do well? What will he look like on the lowest end of that potential? Okay, here we are. Some time has passed at the club. Alex Scott has been instructed to play as many matches as possible, and he's developed so, so well already. He's been very effective in the in-game engine, and he now looks like this. A very talented player. Being 18 or so with some game time, he can develop massively. His current ability at the start of your save is in the high 130s, if I remember correct. So he doesn't need that much growth to actually reach that 150 lower end of that potential ability. So worst case scenario, you are going to get a player that looks like this. Valued at around £50 million currently. The 19-year-old Englishman is very strong physically. Nothing too completely amazing about it, but very well-rounded physical attributes. No real issues there. And hopefully they'll only get better. But it's those mentals that we figured would do the best and they have done. They were already very high. And with some good mentoring and game time, they've gone up massively with 16 vision, 16 work rate, off the ball work, composure, anticipation. He has got it all at a very high level. And then technically his finishing has gone up by one. His first touch is great. His dribbling is great. His technique and passing are also awesome. With that vision, he'll be creating a lot of chances for his teammates. And that's been the case because in his first season, right from the off in 38 appearances, he was able to get 11 goals and 12 assists. A very complete player who can score as well as create chances for his teammate a 7.21 average match rating he's developed very quickly usually I wait a few seasons or so before showing you a player at the lowest end of their potential range but Alex has got to that level at an incredible rate I kind of did expect it considering how good he was already when players are playing well and getting game time it really helps in their development and I think Alex Scott has really benefited from that but now I'm going to show you him in the prime of his career if you thought this was good when you see him in a second it's going to blow your mind so let's go ahead to see just how good he can look in his prime and we've gone many years ahead now to 2032 Alex Scott has been playing at the side for about a decade now he is one of our key players four and a half star ability currently according to the game and if we take a look at those attributes he is mind-blowingly good I'll let you take a look at him for a second whilst I let you know that I do have my own channel linked in the description now I'm not joking when I say we're very very close to 15k subs which I'm trying to reach as soon as possible if just a few of you come over and hit that button will be so close to that target so if you could come over check out the content we've got a let's play series with Aberdeen some one-off rebuilds which you all seem to enjoy and some YouTube shorts where we show off wonder kids that you might not have heard of and maybe aren't good enough to reach these kind of videos but are still excellent excellent talent so do check my channel out I'd really appreciate it all linked in the description down below but back to Alex Scott he's had 67 appearances for England at the age of 28 with nine goals for the national team he's a four and a half star ability player as mentioned and physically he's really grown into it with 18 balance 16 agility 17 stamina pace acceleration strength as well he's got everything he needs in that area he's got some player traits as well likes to run with the ball through the middle tries killer balls and likes the balls to his feet and his mental attributes are insane with 18 anticipation 19 composure 16 decision making determination flair off the ball vision work rate and then everything else that i haven't mentioned is at a good level of about 12 13 or 14 14. He's a brilliant, brilliant midfield option. Could play pretty much any role you wanted from a midfielder. He's a good tackler as well, but he can pass exceptionally well now with great technique, passing and vision. His first touch is brilliant. His finishing has got way better over the years in that Mazzala role. He can take a long shot, a set piece. He's a good dribbler, a good crosser. Alex Scott is just a perfect package for a midfielder. He could play anywhere that you needed him and he might just be the future of England's midfield. His second season, was his worst but after that he's been getting pretty much 20 goal contributions a season easily if not 25 and in some cases as much as nearly 40 in this season here in the league alone with a 7.53 average match rating 23 goals 15 assists he's creating chances as well as scoring them but now I'll show you what he looks like at the end of his career and you can see he's continued to do well into his later ages yes he's been playing a little bit less probably had a few injuries and maybe not playing as good as he was originally but you'd expect that from a player in his mid-30s, which is what he is now. Alex 
Scott has been an insane player. 98 appearances for England in the end, 15 goals for the national side. Did he win a Ballon d'Or? I'll assume no. Yeah, we were right. He didn't. Rodrigo actually won it for three, four, five, six, seven times in a space of eight years, which is insane to see. But unfortunately, Alex Scott wasn't good enough for a Ballon d'Or. But outside of that, I'm sure he won many individual accolades. I'm not saying £10 million is cheap, but for the kind of player you're getting, it's realised talent. We're not just talking about potential here with Alex Scott. Straight away, he could contribute for a lot of sides in the world. And as he gets better, he's just going to really help your side and his valuation is going to go through the roof so I'm going to rate him a 9.5 out of 10 if he was a little bit cheaper I'd probably go for a 10 out of 10 but I still think he's one of the best you can get let me know if you've used him in the comments down below remember you won't see the upgraded potential ability until you start a new save after the winter update so if you're still on an old save you'll still have the same older version of Alex Scott but now he's just an unreal talent like the video if you did enjoy subscribe for more come check out my channel linked in the description as we get close to 15k subs but most of all have a great day everyone and I'll see you next time thank you and goodbye